just a moment. But first, our other breaking news out of Texas. Moments ago, the GOP-led House officially voting to impeach State Attorney General Ken Paxton. Under state law, he is now temporarily suspended from his duties as he now awaits a Senate trial. Some of the counts included bribery, obstruction of justice, dereliction of duty, unfitness for office, abuse of public trust. This follows years of legal and ethical scandals involving the country's most famous and most controversial AG. Paxton has called the impeachment proceedings, quote, political theater. Most of the top Texas Republicans have been mum on the topic. But today, Senator Ted Cruz called the process a travesty. With us now, NBC News correspondent Priscilla Thompson. Priscilla, this is historic. What more can you tell us? Yeah, Alicia, it is historic. And there have been supporters of Kim Paxton who flooded this gallery today to listen as this hearing took place. And as they were letting out, we were able, able uh, to grab Mr. Glass here. You're a supporter of Kim Paxton. Your reaction to the news that the House has just voted to impeach him? I was surprised about how many people voted in favor of it. Uh, I think this proceeding is illegal. So we have a statute in, uh, enacted under Ann Richards in 1993 that is a, essentially a voter enfranchisement of, uh, provision that says you can't impeach or, or remove people that uh, for uh, actions before the election. All of these things that were alleged against Ken Paxton had to do with stuff that happened before he was elected. Uh, and the reason why that statute was put there is to make sure the vote, that if the voters have spoken after they have the information, and they did, with millions of dollars of advertising, both in the primary and in the general election, that, 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 that they knew what they were doing, and uh, this is disenfranchising the people of Texas. Thank you so much, Mr. Glass. And that is some of the message that we've heard from other folks who've just come out of this hearing that we have heard are questioning why this is coming up after Kim Paxton was re-elected in November, saying that these were crimes that were committed beforehand. But the Texas House has said that they have a right to do this. They are given the right to impeach for an issue such as this. And of course, all of this is stemming out of this uh, these allegations that were made by former staffers of Kim Paxton, Paxton alleging misconduct, specifically that he helped a wealthy political donor who was under investigation by the FBI uh, and also facing a lawsuit and that Kim Paxton used his office to help that donor. And so we heard Republicans on the floor today saying that due process had not been served. They weren't arguing the merits of this case, but saying that there should have been a longer investigation. But uh, the Republicans who were in favor of this said that, no, this is what the House is intended to do. This is not intended to be the trial. The trial will be held in the Senate, at which point uh, the former or the suspended attorney general will have an opportunity to defend himself and everyone will be able to hear from the witnesses uh, that were a part of this investigation. Alicia? Priscilla, leading up to this moment, can you give us a sense of what the mood has been there? Yeah, you know, there have been people here who are in support of Kim Paxton, the majority of them filling the gallery, but there were also people here who were calling for his impeachment, people who simply don't like his policies, but also people here who feel that he is corrupt. Kim Paxton has been under investigation for various things since his first term in office, and there are serious concerns among some people here about uh, that conduct. And so uh, that was sort of the mood that we had on the ground here, and it was really Republicans arguing with each other, debating with each other. We didn't hear a lot from Democrats on the floor today in deciding how best to move forward in this process. Alicia.